Hello and welcome to another Demis Helen tutorial. This video we're going to look at Comb Bear, which is a free plugin uh, from Plugin Boutique, and you can use it as a parallel compressor because that's what it is. Um, you can actually have the full mix of the original or the full mix of the compressed signal. And obviously parallel gives you that mix blend feature. Um, so all we have here is the compressor, the mix, the input gain and the makeup gain and that's it. And then you've got this like bear growling um, effect here to see how you're doing it. So it's very similar to how Sausage Fatner works. It applies more and more and more and more. Um, so I'm going to show you how I've built this track lane here and then I'll explain what this is doing. So if we just go to the base here, I'm going to turn all the inserts off and I'm just going to quickly go through them to get to Comb Bear and explain why uh, the particular sound is actually on there. So here's the raw sound straight out of Serum. Now to start with, the the sound needed to be really full and punchy, quite warm and heavy. Uh, so I've boosted the frequencies that are below where the kick drum operates, um, as you can see here. And then I have cut where the kick drum needs to operate to give some breathing room, uh, which is the kind of the simplest way to mix your kick and bass um, starting point. Uh, I've got a roll off here up to 19, just short of 20 hertz, just to get any like unwanted frequencies out of there. You can't hear them but you can feel them some mixes you might want to do that but it's making this a bit cloudy and muddy and I don't want that um, then here I've just done a quick scoop out because it's going to have a rap verse on above this so I wanted to make sure the detail of this section uh, frequencies is not cutting through too much because other things are going to occupy that space so let's hear it on so if you just listen to that bit just cut that mid frequency out there so it's forcing it to focus more down here um, and then that's it so into kickstart what we have here is a half pattern so we've just got it for when the kick hits every second beat which is here It saves a little bit of time of adding in sidechain compression and setting it all up. You'll have more control over it, but that does exactly what I need it to do, and it's just a quick add-in. Always recommend that plugin. Um, then we go into Fat Maker. So this is where I add the clipping detail. It's it was a total accident. I put it on and I cranked some of the the knobs just to see what sort of sound I could achieve see where I could uh, make the sound a bit more unique and just cranking up the high frequencies and the high mids give me this clipping effect. So let's have a listen to it without it. So there's no real like definition in the sound. And then clipping. So totally unintentional, um, but it sounded really good. So I just tweaked the frequency to where I wanted it to sit and clip, uh, and it sounded pretty nice. So I kept it in the mix. Next up is Fab Filter Pro Q when it decides to open. And what I've done here is cut out a problem area which was conflicting with a few other sounds in the mix, mixed in context. So all this has been mixed in context, uh, which I've talked about in a previous video, um, but I'm showing you as a kind of standalone instrument. So this section was causing a problem, especially among the snare and kind of the lower pad sounds, uh, which started to make it all a little bit messy and cloudy and started getting these horrible like frequency noises. So that's the bit I've taken out. So if I bypass it, you'll hear exactly what I mean. And then when I cut it, it's just controlling some of the boxy sound. It's uh, where the boxiness occurs in a bass uh, and a kick drum. So I just wanted to bring that level down so I give a bit more space for other sounds to start interacting in that area. Um, so that's a simple one. Uh, just to quickly point this out as well, this area is just for automation. So I can do a sweep across like that. 
So that's not actually operating as anything there. Let's get this back up. Um, so next in line we have the compressor. And this is the one where I picked a preset. Yes, it is. So bass, um, and I give it punchy bass guitar. And the achievement here was to just basically control it, but keep the punch. So it adds that real low kind of weight to the sound. Let's add it in. Uh, and what it's doing is just making sure those peaks aren't going above where I need them to be. And I've just tweaked the threshold here, left the ratio where it was in the attack and the release. Um, the reason for the attack being slower um, is so it's catching all the sounds but the peaks aren't being fully captured immediately. They're being captured slightly after which is 22 milliseconds. So it's still catching them but it's not giving it that clicky transient. And the reason for this is sort of introduced a little bit of transient in there just to kind of keep that bass line punchy so when I introduce Combair I actually soften the sound back down so what's happening here is I'm applying a lot of compression and then the mix is set here so it's slightly in favour of the dry signal rather than the mix signal so I've only added in 39% of the, the effect if you would uh, and then the makeup gain is 2.5 there 2.5 dB just to bring it back to level so let's have a listen with this on so we've got a lot more of a punch let's just have that first bit looping Now when I put this on, it'll take away that punch at the beginning of the bass. So it's a little bit more rounded, and you'll notice it more when I bypass it here, so 3, 2, 1. And let's just over exaggerate this so you can hear it. would help. There's me thinking why is it not making any sound? Let's over exaggerate it. So it's rounding it off, um, it's taking away that punch. So I want a little bit of punch there but I want it round. So you can hear bom 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 bom, it's hitting quite hard. So you're still getting that bit of punch, but it's rounded off that first end, so it makes it a little bit more friendly in the mix, um, because I don't want it to punch right through. I want the track to focus on the pace, and then the rhythm of the rap verse that's going to be present. Uh, the bass is just there literally to support and manoeuvre the track into the sections that it's needed. So let's have a listen in context. Let's just uh, loop this section. So it sounds pretty lame. And let's just bypass Combear. It loses all that weight in the lower end, it doesn't sound as full and like huge and rumbling as soon as you put this on. that more weight again. So let's just increase the makeup gain again. weight of the bass um, to give the impression that the kick is actually hitting and uh, a lot fuller than it actually is because I want to keep the kick quite uh, transient. 
I don't want too much back end on there, if you know what I mean, the tail off of the kick. I'd rather leave that to the bass. Just to give it a little bit of pace. Um, so that's Convair used on a bass sound. Now, if we look at Convair on the pads, uh, we have to actually get to the pad section. So as you can see, it's fairly squashing the sound. Um, and in this particular case, I don't actually mind that because I want more of the focus on the rap vocals again um, and any female kind of vocal lines. I don't want this to be up front and really loud. I want it to just be supportive of the track and keep that melodic hook moving. So adding Combat onto the group channel for the pads is a good way just to control both pads at the same time we're having to put it on both and make sure it's working i actually have used it on both here um, but this is like the overall final kind of mix here as you put it so it seems a little bit uncontrolled Uh, and just out of interest, if I load up the Combear for here and here, you can see for the first pad, uh, I've got that setting, and then the second pad, I've got that setting. What can you tell? I've actually just copied them over uh, and added the makeup gain on that one. <laughs> So it's a really good way to add subtle compression uh, quite instantaneously. It's not subtle when you hear me turning it on and off, but in the mix, you, you can't really tell that it's there. So what it's doing there on that track is emphasizing the reverb and delay in the background. Just ever so subtly, um, and then all together. See, in context, it sounds a little bit rubbish, so I'm going to tweak this comb bear here on the final one. So let's just turn the compression down to zero. That sounds a little bit nicer. Uh, I think there was a bit too much compression on there, maybe from a practice run that I did. Uh, it was a little over compressed. So in that's again, mixing in context is always going to help you because if you just do that without putting the whole track in the mix, you're not going to hear what's going on at all. So there's a bit more processing to do on the this sound here. So just out of interest, this is made in Serum. Uh, I'll probably release this one for free. I'm going to do like a a sample slash preset pack this year to put on my website and I'll do most of them for this and then some for Massive, uh, go back to the, some of the original videos that I do uh, and that's using, utilising, let's just have a quick look, the LFOs, yep, so it's using the LFOs there um, and using that to automate I think the wavetable position on this one and I think the filter. Yeah. So we'll go through that maybe in a later video just to show you what's going on there. Um, so that's how that Combat is working on this track. Makes it nice sound subtle. 
let's just take Combear off that base. It's a bit more present. And then that makes it sound a little bit darker, grittier, bassier. So that is the track that I'm building at the moment with uh, using Combear as some of the main uh, compression ideas, just to see how it sounds. And I like its style, I like the way it transforms your sound just simply using a compressed knob. You don't have to worry about the ratios and the attack and release times, it's just set parallel compression. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, uh, give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment and tell me what you thought uh, and follow me on all the socials. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.